Morning on Manchester United. We're going to look at what Ruben Amrim has been up to in his first week at the club. No games for Amrim this week, obviously, uh, James, but a trip to Ipswich this weekend. And he's had a busy in tray, obviously, coming into Old Trafford. Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind for Ruben Amrim since he arrived in Manchester last Monday. There's been plenty to do, plenty of people to meet. He had the stadium tour as well very early on. And, and after that experience, where he actually met a few fans in the dressing room. He advised all players to go on on the stadium tour, just to remind them of the history of this great club, a great club which hasn't had a huge amount of success when, since Sir Alex Ferguson departed in 2013. So with players on international duty, he took a chance to meet everybody who wasn't on international duty. But in terms of this week, I think he was boosted by the fact that Bruno Fernandes came back early yeah. from Portugal's international camp, which meant he got extra time with him. You'd like to think that that combination will be absolutely crucial for Manchester United Massive, in terms yeah. of success over the course of the first few weeks at least. And we expect United will play three at the back. And I think in terms of this week, it's been implementing that style of play, putting across his ideas to the players so they understand exactly what was expected from a Ruben Amaran team. He's also been analysing footage from Manchester United's start to the season. There's been plenty of defeats. There's been plenty of things to work on. And what's really fascinating to learn, Melissa Reddy, our senior reporter, has done a really long piece on the Sky Sports website, available on the app as well. It's definitely worth reading that because there's so much detail in that. But one thing that's really clear is the fact that He's creating an environment where he's demanding, but jovial. That's what it's been described yes. as. He's... Maybe it wasn't the case under his predecessor. No. It wasn't particularly jovial at times. That seems to be the case. And I think the way he's warmed to staff and the way that staff have warmed to him suggests that this could be a really exciting period for Manchester United. And what's really interesting is he's very keen to improve the players that are at the football club. There's not been a huge amount of dialect when it comes to discussion dialogue when it comes to discussing January and whether they want to bring yeah. players in. We know man managers come into clubs and, and want to get their signing through the door. The understanding is that he wants to work with these players here before he even thinks about what happens in January and beyond that. So he faces the media the first time at 2pm. He's dealt very well with some of our colleagues at Sky Sports yeah. in Portugal over the course of the last few weeks. But he faces the UK media for the first time at 2pm. We'll bring that to you on Sky Sports News. It'll be fascinating to see if he charms the English media as he seems to have done it in Portugal yes. in that first game against Ipswich on Sunday. It's a, it's a decent run of fixtures for United at the start of Ruben Amorim's reign, but you want to get hit the ground running against Kieran McKenna, who was someone who touted for the job in the summer.